It's another standing ovation for mentalist Mark Stone. He does the funniest and most mind-boggling comedy mind-reading and ESB show in America today. He amazed Johnny Carson, Chevy Chase, Oprah, and Regis Philbin when he appeared on their talk shows, and now he's going to amaze you. Ladies and gentlemen, mentalist Mark Stone. Is everyone ready to have some fun with ESP? You've selected one of three big city phone books. You're concentrating on a name. And I want you to concentrate on that name. Just concentrate on it. Are you thinking this in English? <laughs> Just concentrate on the person's first name. M I C it would be Michael. Very good. Gruen Hut? Is that it? Yeah, you can probably pronounce it better than I can. <laughs> okay, very good. He's looking at me as if he's absolutely amazed. Let, let me tell you something. Every one of you in this room can do this. All you have to do is take the time to memorize a few phone books. So, <laughs> now, go to the address. Does Michael Gruenhut live at 5539 Oxford Chase Way? Is that it? Yeah. Very good. Thank you. You believe in reincarnation? And you believe in reincarnation? Yeah, I think so. Welcome back. <laughs> All right. I want you to draw a picture of anything you like. Be sure not to let anyone see what you're drawing. Concentrate on the drawing. Concentrate on it. The overall picture, I think I've got it. I want you to turn your picture around and show everyone what it is you drew. Stars, the moon, and a rocket. <laughs> Stars, the moon, and a rocket. Thank you. You did great. In a few minutes, we're going to take a quantum leap forward. And when we get to that point, I'm going to ask all of you to do two things for me. First, you're going to think of your name. Then, the second thing, I'm going to ask each of you to think of absolutely anything at all that you care to think about. Joy. You're thinking in 2007, you're going to be taking a trip. Uh, is this in celebration of your anniversary? It is. Okay, let's see. This will be for your, you're going to be traveling. My wife and I like to travel every year for our anniversary also. We do that. I asked Susie, I said, where do you want to go this year? She said, take me somewhere I've never been before. I said, how about the kitchen? <laughs> so, uh, is this your 30, 35th anniversary? It is. See, what is, I know silver is 25, gold is 50. What's 35? Is it jewelry, cop, no, Viagra. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, you're thinking that you want to go on your 35th anniversary in 2007, you want to go to Hawaii. You are right. Is that it? Very good. Thank you. Phyllis, you are thinking about an animal. No. Oh, hold it. Oh, I'm sorry. You're thinking about your husband. <laughs> <laughs> are you thinking that your husband did something a long time ago? There's a lot of people. Yes. You're thinking that your husband got arrested for inciting a riot at Kent State University. Is that what you think? Very good. Thank you. I'm getting just initials. There's someone here thinking the initial, their first name begins with an S. Next, ne their middle name is an O. Last name is a B. Anyone here that's an SOB? <laughs> okay. You are thinking that you, this is a fantasy, this isn't for real. You're thinking that, now you're playing golf. You know why they call it golf? Why? All the other four letter words were taken. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're thinking that you were playing golf with Tiger Woods and you beat him by 10 strokes. Very <laughs> yeah. yeah, good, thank you. So I'm just thinking about a roof. Are you thinking, did you have a roof put on your house? Yes. About part of, six months ago. That's right. Six months ago, you had a roof put on your house and you paid, that's what, this is the tough one. You paid 
13,000 13, dollars. Is that right? Close. <laughs> well, hold on. Third, just kind of, oh, I know what I'm missing. $13,451.73. That's amazing. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. You are thinking, you are thinking, this was a great show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. The show was absolutely mind-boggling. I couldn't figure out a single thing that he did. I would absolutely love to see it again. It was really awesome. We really enjoyed it. Best part of our vacation. Come see it. I've just never seen anything like that before. I was trying to figure out how he could do it. There's just no way that he could possibly do that with all the people that he had in here. It was beyond your wildest imagination. You have to see it to believe it. He's fantastic. It was just the most amazing show I've ever seen. It was a fun show. It was something I never expected, and we had a great time tonight. It was fantastic. It was mind-bending. I don't know how we did it. There's never a dull moment in this highly entertaining show as Mark has volunteers from the audience help him demonstrate his uncanny ability to read minds, to make predictions, and to see with his fingertips while blindfolded. You won't believe the things he can do and the fun everyone has watching and participating. So if you want a great alternative to the usual stand-up comedian, illusionist, hypnotist, or musical act, just add your name to the growing list of corporations, associations, colleges, and civic organizations that have utilized Mark Stone's talents. You'll be glad you did.